Hi! I know it's been a while since I've last filmed and uploaded and since you last see me, but here I am, back at it again with yet another video and this time I'm here to stay. I've decided. There have been many reasons why I've only sporadically put out videos every few months or years. <laughs> like creativity issues and a lot of mental health stuff that's been happening, but kind of the primary reason why I didn't was because I didn't like to look at myself when editing the footage that I'd recorded. I'm over that. I don't want to feel like that anymore. And through years of therapy, I feel like I've reached a point where I am more comfortable in front of the camera and also hopefully looking at footage of myself. And for a long, long time, I've wanted to change my body and lose weight, but I just wasn't in the right headspace for it. And secondary, I kind of felt unable to unite the conundrum of wanting to lose weight and change my body, become slimmer or thinner or skinnier or whatever. And the other side of wanting to be body positive. And the thing is, I am body positive, especially towards other people, not myself. <laughs> Hence the therapy. I love seeing fat people thrive and just live their life being fat and just be okay with being fat and have sex, enjoy food have a career, have have like everything that they want and do that while being fat. And that's phenomenal and I love that for them. For a very long time, I've been wondering why I just couldn't do that myself. Why couldn't I just accept my body being fat and, you know, live life. And not too long ago, a few months ago in therapy, I kind of realized that I just don't feel like myself being fat, if that makes sense. Of course, I'm very sure a lot of that is influenced by being indoctrinated through media and through what the world tells me. Oh, you have to be thin, you have to be skinny. And gay culture is very, very intrinsic when it comes to that. Regardless of where it comes from, that's how I feel. And I guess that's valid. I am kind of nervous that I kind of sort of sound like I'm invalidating other people who feel differently, which I don't. I'm not trying to tell anyone to do the same thing that I'm doing. I just thought that anyone who wants to might be interested in seeing it. And also not everything that I do will work for everyone else. I guess that should be clear. I just realized that I haven't mentioned that <laughs> yet. I am documenting and vlogging my entire body transformation. I've already started two weeks ago. I'm kind of behind on the whole editing and I wanted to film and upload this video first as like a heads up and intro and context giving video. <laughs> I've been kind of fed up and frustrated with seeing all those like 20, 30 minute videos of some skinny person saying, oh yeah, I lost so much weight and it took like years and I did this in this diet and I worked out and this is my routine and blah, blah. And it was kind of hard, but you know, here are before and after pictures. It kind of eliminates the work behind it. I mean, I, who knows, I probably will still make that video too. <laughs> but I also wanted to showcase how difficult it is and how hard, how much hard work it is. You have to be very disciplined for years to lose weight to gain muscles, to shape and sculpt your body in a way that you want it to be. You can't just snap your fingers and it's done. It's really hard work and it literally takes years if you do it the right way. And that's what I intend to do. I don't only want to change my body because I don't like looking at footage of myself, but there are also like kind of some actual reasons. I have like some physical problems. I feel it in my knees and my ankles when I walk. I like walking a lot, <laughs> so it's kind of unfortunate. I have more back pains more often than when I was skinny. That's kind of shit. I've been to my GP already to check if there's any other side effects. It doesn't look like it, but I have some more appointments, which you'll see in the vlogs or like I'll talk about it in the vlogs. I'm also in the process of getting in touch with a nutritionist to help me figure out my diet better. I do have a lot of knowledge and ideas on how to change my diet and I've already implemented lots of them. But you know, maybe they'll tell me, oh, you actually should do this and this and that more or don't do that because so I'm getting professional help. I'm seeing a therapist. I've seen her for almost three years now. So we are talking about the process as it happens as well. So that's really, really good. I also kind of have fairly bad posture. It's kind of shit. I'm trying very hard to sit straight up right now. <laughs> I also sometimes have like problems with circulation in my legs after I've sat for a long time. That also kind of sort of depends on what trousers I'm wearing that day, but yeah, that's an issue. Things like that. 
I've recently gone to the movies again for the first time since the pandemic hit and I was really, really nervous about whether or not I would fit into the seat at the theater. I did, it was a bit tight, but I did fit. Or on the train, because you know, it's a two-seater bench. It's not laid out for two fat people. <laughs> so if I sit there, not much space for someone else. I mean, someone else will still fit. Yeah, that's uncomfortable. Like I've mentioned, I don't really feel comfortable in my body because I don't really feel like myself. I don't know how to describe that more closely. Maybe with hair, maybe that's a good comparison. As you can see, I'm not a natural blonde. I really do need a like touch up for my roots. I started bleaching my hair in like April, 2017. I'm pretty sure that must have been it. I wanted to do that for a long, long time and then I finally did and it felt right. It felt like, it felt more me, if that makes sense. And then eventually I had like, had grown out a lot and I was like, you know what, just cut it out. So the blonde was gone and I had that for like two or three weeks and I caved back in because I didn't feel like myself. I'm more myself blonde. That makes any sense outside of my head. It does to me. <laughs> and I feel similarly with my body weight, my body volume, body circumference. I also, I don't feel super strong, which I don't like. I don't feel very confident. Not necessarily looks wise, but just like feeling wise, if that makes sense. I also have some masculinity issues. I hope I'm not speaking out of term. And if I do, please let me know so I can improve myself. I just don't know how else to put it into words. I do feel as a cis person, I do feel a little bit of gender dysphoria being fat because being fat, my body is somewhat feminized. My chest kind of resembles boobs a little more. It's something that I have on my talking points that I didn't know how to put into words without making myself uncomfortable and also not TMI too much, but also penis size is a problem. Catch my drift. I don't know, maybe I'll talk about that more closely eventually, but I don't feel comfortable right now. It's things like that where I don't, I kind of don't feel affirmed in my gender because of my body. Again, if that was insensitive, tell me, let me know. Most people kind of set like a goal weight that they want to reach in the end. I do have something in mind for that, but I don't really want to aspire exactly that. It helps me much more to have like smaller goals. My goal currently is to lose half a kilo, just roughly a pound, every week. And we'll see how far I'll get. I mean, I definitely will have to lose quite a few dozens of pounds. Also weight, I find is like a difficult indicator for success in this context, because if you build muscle, you weigh more also. So it's more about like how you look and how you measure up. And all in all, the biggest indicator of how well I've reached my goals is how good I feel in my body and about myself. So I make it very, very much dependent on that, where I'll stop or where I'll like try to start keeping my weight. One thing that I do really want uh, to change in my body is a booty. I really want an ass. I currently have a very like one dimensional ass. It's just flat and wide. Well, that's two dimensions already. It's wide because fat and flat because I don't know, gravity. <laughs> I want a like three dimensional booty, which I can wear trousers that don't fall off without wearing a belt way too tight that will cut off circulation in my legs. It also kind of looks good, I guess. <laughs> what I'm currently doing is I'm keeping a diet diary, so to speak, through an app, my fitness pal, not sponsored, which is good to keep track of your caloric intake and also like the nutrients that you take in. I was kind of nervous that that would lead to some kind of obsessive eating disorderly mindset and behavior. It hasn't so far, I'm keeping an eye on that, definitely. I've also had days already where I exceeded my caloric goal of the day, but that's fine. It's also one I kind of want to showcase in my vlogs that like there are setbacks, there are days where you like fuck up, especially with someone who's recovering from an eating disorder. I have so far tried to implement some changes in my diet already. I try to keep my calorie goal of a day, doing a lot more meal prep. As much as I love cooking, I don't like having to cook every day. So having something in the freezer that I just throw in the oven, perfect or at least where ingredients are already prepared and I just have to like add a few things and heat that up. That's perfect. And I started doing some of that. There are more things where I can implement that definitely and will. I'm also working hard on breaking my habits of, or routine rather, of eating out of boredom and maybe even stimming. In a way, I feel 
like I eat sometimes just for the sensory stimulation of having taste in my mouth or just the sensation of having something in my mouth, textural or, you know, just physically like having something in my mouth, especially while watching something. So I'm trying to get rid of that habit. Another thing I need to work on is the idea of having to clear my plate. I need to learn that it's okay to not finish your plate. One thing I don't want to do is prohibit myself from eating certain things. I think a good balanced diet is about being able to eat whatever you want to eat in reasonable amounts. In order to lose weight, I should probably not eat cake every day or cookies or crisps or chips or fast food. But occasionally I might give in to the craving and, you know, have a slice of cake. When it comes to like birthdays or Christmas is around the corner, we do eat things you wouldn't normally eat. I think that's okay. Just don't make it a habit of every day. Been there, done that. Not good. I'm officially starting this body transformation journey at 118.5 kilograms, which equals apparently 261 pounds. Google converted that. That equals to a BMI of 41, I think, ish. I'm not the biggest fan of the BMI because it kind of eliminates a lot of factors that are important in body composition, other than height and weight. It's also density, it's bone structure, it's uh, muscle mass, how much body fat you have. Those are factors that BMI kind of doesn't consider. I've also decided that for now I'm gonna focus on my diet because I'm fat. And as I've mentioned, I already have issues with my knees, not too severe issues, right? It's not like I have severe pain every day, but it's, you know, uncomfortable. So I feel like I'm gonna not focus on working out for now. I could see, however, cause it's fall and winter coming up that maybe after in spring, that's a good idea. I love walking, so I am trying to implement 10,000 steps a day more regularly and pay attention to also doing that every day. With few exceptions, it's worked. And there've also easily been days where I had twice the amount of steps. Might be that like every other same person, I'm pacing around in circles in my one room flat, talking to myself a lot. <laughs> Furthermore, I take care of my best friend's dog every now and then, as you see in the vlogs. So I'm out for 45, 60 minutes walking the dog. That's extra steps. It's also good to get me out of the house because that's good for my mental health also. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that for now. Walking, 10,000 steps. And eventually I'm, I'm really interested in trying running. I feel like that could be very also therapeutic and meditative for me. But also I wanna try different classes, maybe start going to a gym again. I've been there and didn't enjoy it after a long time. I don't know, maybe I just need novelty every now and then. I've also thought of mindfulness a lot more, like maybe a gratitude journal. I started that once, but got bored of it and stopped. Or doing daily affirmations in some shape or form. I feel like that could be good for my mental health and kind of getting more into the mindset of I'm beautiful and loving myself, I'm worthy. Blah, blah, blah. I remember that I did like meditating, but I also feel like it's boring. So I don't know exactly. I've already mentioned my eating disorder as a potential obstacle or an inhibition that I have. Another thing that I'm kind of scared of is the loose skin that I'll have. I'm not financially in a position where I can get abdominal plasty, although I could see myself wanting that. But who knows where I'm at in two years. <laughs> I totally forgot, maybe someone's tuning in right now into this video or the vlogs and comes across this and doesn't even know who I am. My name is Lars. I live in Berlin, Germany. English is not my native language in case an accent slips up every now and then. I might also switch accents within English every now and then. I'm 32 years old, very single. I'm not straight. I'm queer in some capacity. I use the term gay but not 100% sure if that's accurate anymore, but that's a different can of worms. I'm also vegan, which I guess is very important for my diet. Now let's get into what I intend to do. So I'm gonna do vlogs, weekly vlogs. I vlog my week, Monday through Sunday, and hopefully have it edited sometime after that, eventually, <laughs> and put that up, you know, one video for a week. I'm doing weekly weigh-ins where I see how much weight I've lost. Also, I've just decided that I'm gonna measure my body on my stats once a month. Not sure if I'll make that publicly available, but I'll do that. If there's anything you're interested in 
learning about or hearing my perspective on or want to hear in more detail maybe about me personally or about any of the things relevant to changing your body to weight loss to diet and, and all that ask me down below if you want to follow me on this journey there's a subscribe button that you can click and also like the video if you want to support me next thing you'll see is the first vlog from two weeks ago <laughs> uh, i still don't have an outro so uh